all right hey youtube uh back with another video hopefully a quick one um today we're just gonna be talking about how to make character models so i got a dm from somebody telling well not telling me but asking me if i could make a gone model for them and uh, it's super simple um that normally you don't really need anybody to make this for you you can literally do it yourself but i understand not everybody knows so today i'm gonna be talking about that so first things first you want to open blender ignore this uh, this is from not too long ago i wasn't recording so yeah i have the r6 model in here um just for the head honestly when i import the hair but you want the r15 or r6 model your choice once you have all that done you want to open a tab preferably google yes i know i'm on microsoft edge um but yeah, yeah. so in google so in this circumstance where you're making a gon model so i'm gonna just type gon jump force 30 model super simple i'm typing jump force because i know gon is in jump force and his 3d model um is in jump force and a lot of people they put it on websites like deviant art which is a super good website for finding models i'll show you guys in a bit but yeah once you have that you want to go ahead and open that there's another example they have Killua here easily accessible to anybody who goes to the website naruto etc but yeah um so we're gone so in deviant art normally people will have this um i guess you could say lock behind the download where you would have to just make an account and log in to download it but some people will have it in the description which it is right here you would just click the link it'll take you to um where you can download the file and boom I already have the file downloaded right here as you can see once you have the file downloaded you want to download 7-zip super simple super fast download just type in 7-zip and then it should be the first result depending on your computer get the 32 or 64 I got 64 download takes like one minute at best so once all that's done and you have your file downloaded you want to go to the location so let me delete this so we don't have confusion okay so here's my file right here once you have 7-zip installed you can right click and you should see 7-zip pop up here just hover over it and go to extract to and then jump force gone or whatever the name of your file is here's the folder we want to check what the file type is so in this case is dae which blender supports that's perfect we want to go back into blender and go to file import and find the file type which in my case is right here and then you want to go to the location of the file and then click it so you can import and boom there's my gone and blender Alright, so from this point on, we don't want anything except the hair. So you want to delete his body. So delete, 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 delete the head, the eyes, eyebrows, etc. Oops. Okay. So here we have the hair, just the hair by itself. Um, at this point, we want to go into edit mode and just drag it over the Roblox head. And you're gonna scale it the best you can. It does not have to be perfect clearly because um, of course the, the hairs aren't really made to fit Roblox heads. But for the most part, they all um, end up looking pretty good.
Okay, I think that's perfectly fine. Okay, once you have it positioned, you want to, first of all, make sure it's under 10k. Um, if it's anything from Jump Force, I'm going to tell you now, it won't be under 10k. So you're going to need to lower it. You see, right now it's 18k. I'm going to show you guys how to check triangles if I've never done it before. You want to click, uh, it's a little arrow. It's usually either down here or up here. In my case, it's down here next to the three balls. You want to click this one and you should st see statistics. You want to click that and then everything will pop up here. So you want to click your hair, go to the modifier tab, go to decimate right here. So with the decimate modifier, it pretty much destroys your mesh. Um, short and simple. If you just want to get rid of if you just want to lower polygons this is perfect um yeah i won't get too into too much detail but we want to lower the polygons of it so you want to hold your mouse down on the ratio bar and drag to the left and you can see the numbers below dropping you want to get that under 10k so i just stop it around here 9k you want to go ahead and apply and then you want to go ahead and export the hair. So control A, you can check the boxes. You don't have to do that at all, honestly. I just prefer to. Um, you want to go ahead and name it. Make sure you have selected objects checked. And make sure the scale is set to 0 0.01. Otherwise, it will spawn in the um, studio large and you'd have to manually scale it. So once you have all that done, you want to go ahead and export FBX and move back to studio. Let me delete this. All right. So once again, studio, you want to make sure you have the Explorer open. In order to get this, you need to be in a published place. If you are in one and you don't see it, go to the V tab, hit game Explorer and it should appear. You want to hit import and then find the name of the file so gone here is what i named it go ahead and open and then we're gonna wait for this to get the green check mark and there we go uh once again if it fails you will have to go into blender and just do the re-export um the export process again but if it doesn't fail you just want to find the name of the file click it and then right click insert with location and it's in studio okay so from this point um a lot if not most of your hairs and th this honestly depends on you you don't even need a texture but they will already have a texture on it if you do want the texture you will have to upload the image texture to Roblox. So you can see this is the hair texture. You want to go to Roblox, the site, go to create. You want to go to decals. And then you want to choose a fall. And then go to the hair um, fall the picture of it and then just upload so the reason you're doing this is because yeah you can see it when you upload the mesh into your studio but let's say it was commissioned and somebody else is getting it once you send it to them the texture won't show because it's only showing because it's on your PC that's why you have to upload it to Roblox so once you do that, you just want to copy the ID like usual, post it in the texture ID tab. At this point, um, you're pretty much done, 99% done. You just want to position the hair on top of the head. So insert that model, the R15, R6. You shouldn't have to scale, but of course you can if you need to make adjustments. Uh, 
I, I, right there is pretty good okay so we have our hair placed next is we want to add clothes so you want to click the dummy model you want to hit the plus and then you want to click shirt and then you want to click pants so you want to start with the shirt or or pants it, it's all up to you you have to go to the avatar shop and just get the id of the clothing super simple once again so let's go clothing we'll go shirts first so i'm doing gone i'm gonna just type gone and look at all the copies hit the first one copy the id and then paste it into the shirt template super simple and you do the same thing with the pants clothing gone And there you go. Um, I already did this, but you want to turn your humanoid root parts transparency to one. So normally, it will be at 0.5, and you will get this pretty much block of transparency. Just change it to one. All right, so we pretty much have our model. Um, you want to put the hair inside of the model, of course. So, drag that up, place it in there and your model is made um last step i guess is if you have a face designer they would just put the face on the model um i guess i'd throw one on there that cool uh head there we go perfect so yeah that's literally how you make character models. Super simple, easy to grasp. Um, little recap, you pretty much just go on Google, type the name of your character. If they have a if they're in a game or if they have a game, most likely you will find what you need to find. Like Goku, you'll find plenty of them models. Um, just type in their name and 3D model. And then uh yeah, just go ahead and download import into blender export out of blender into studio and yeah you have your model your character model uh that's it i just want to thank you guys for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and like and subscribe and share thank you guys for watching once again bye